Normal life is Normal just life. around the bend. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am right, so, back um, from the home of war gamers in Venice. Familiar with how the game plays, so Let me just the first uh, few minutes to familiarize ourselves. Let's, with let's tone down the boys here so I can just talk over them. So for those of you who don't know, I went to the home of war gamers in Venice. I was invited by Slytherin to play Starship Troopers Turn Command. It uh, had a sort of ambitious program of what they wanted to show, and uh, they wanted me to play live. So, um, this video is a little bit about how the sausage is made, so um, I'm going to be talking a lot about what went, went into the production. Um, and the things that I had been told to do in advance. Because <laughs> this is... So, this mission, the perimeter, is uh, is a very difficult mission near, near the end of the game. And um, the sort of... My main objective was to capture... Uh, all five of these bases, which is the main mission objective, uh, in a sort of dramatic, in a dramatic order, as it were. Um, so this this was all live. This gameplay, um, it could have all gone wrong had I uh, not played well. Let's put it that way. Um, I wasn't allowed to turret push. So, turrets, you get three kinds of turrets on this mission. You get uh, eight, uh, MG turrets, grenade turrets, and rocket turrets. And you can build them on any solid surface. So, the road here counts as a solid surface. And uh, the, the buildings and fortifications all count as solid surfaces. But I was forbidden from any kind of turret pushing, which... Is something the game would sort of expect you to be doing at this point, because uh, you know, as I said, this is near the end of the Starship Troopers Terran Command campaign. So this is this is quite the uh, you know at this point you're expected to use every trick in the book to uh, to win the mission. Um, so here I'm just. I'm just pushing forward and, you know, ideally what you'd want to do is you'd want to put some turrets on this building here, but I was, uh, I was forbidden from doing so, so I was using my, uh, my engineers to flame push. And, uh, obviously I had to be very hot on my abilities here, you can see me using grenades, uh, the, so the standard trooper has got, um, Grenade as a, as a standard ability, and then uh, Shotgun Blast as a special ability, and Grenade Bundle as a special ability. But the Grenade Bundle I don't use because it's, it's a very short range, very powerful grenade. It's difficult to use it, and it's very easy to blow up your own guys with it. So, for, for, uh, for ease of uh, not blowing myself away. <laughs> I went with a shotgun, shotgun blast ability, which is quite easy to use, actually. And the Mark II Marita troopers here have got uh, there. That's the Ripper Ripper ability there, which is sort of like a shotgun blast, but it's more powerful and it does friendly fire. So do not use it through your own guys, because you'll actually nail your own guys to the wall. Um, they also get a anti-aircraft grenade if I remember correctly but I didn't uh, I didn't use that it wasn't it's not necessary on this mission um, so one key thing which I wanted to talk about was <laughs> when I got there I found out I didn't have any sound so I was actually playing without without sound <laughs> the whole time so I had no base alerts no uh, you know no sort of level up pings or anything like that. I, I literally had zero sound. This is me using the grenade, grenade rain ability that the Mark II troopers have to take out that hole. And you can see the other ability there is uh, is the uh, the Ripper ability. 
real care about the Ripper shotgun blast. So I had a shopping list of things to do. Um, this I was just wondering about my time because um, some of the attacks are scripted, and there there's a tanker bug that attacks your base around about now. And uh, there's some guys that you start with, which I didn't touch. Where if you're just if you just leave things as they are, then that tanker bug will run into your base and barbecue those guys. So if you're, I was operating with no sound effects, so I could not I could not hear the uh, the alert that the base was under attack. So I pick up rocket troopers here. Rocket troopers have got two bonus rocket abilities. A uh, an area of effect flak attack, which is great for wiping out hordes of bugs, and then they, uh, an anti-aircraft flak uh, missile that explodes in the air, takes out lots of hoppers. Here we go. One restreamer pointed out that I let these guys go die deliberately, and that was absolutely true. <laughs> I did let them die deliberately. You wanted to show off the... Uh, also, yeah, new threat hopper box as well. Oh, Show off the, the um, before, so as well. melting so infantry the animation. So here, once again, I'm only making MG turrets and only a couple to protect the base. No sort of MG pushes were allowed. Now, this is coming up to like the first wipe for me, and. Uh, not to not to ruin the magic, but this was deliberate as well. Um, what, at this phase, having secured these two bases, you can now attack all four hives relatively easily. I had a completely sort of planned planned order of doing things. Um, but they they're talking about the fleet liaison because they're thinking that maybe I'm going to. Um, push up and take the fourth base now, which is what I do after this squad gets wiped, but not before. So I deliberately did not bring the fleet liaison along, and I did not bring a full a full army, because I knew that I would win with one. But here's the thing, I couldn't really hear them either, so they're talking about the fleet liaison. But when I summon it, it's, it's, I'm actually on autopilot going through a checklist of things in my head that I need to be doing, the units that I need to be showing. Um, and so I'm, I'm summoning this now. They've just talked about it, but actually I couldn't hear them either. So in the alcove I was in, the walls were really like, I don't know, thick and... They attenuated sound really well. There's just a lot of um, electronic white noise. So I could barely hear the two casters, even though they were sort of sat in the same room with me. And obviously I had no sound input at all. So <laughs> for me, I was literally running the game in silence. Unless they were shouting, I, I couldn't hear them. So anyway, I brought the fleet, the fleet liaison along. Um, now I'd forgotten here that the tax strike doesn't work on plasma bugs because they're too armored. So I had to bring the rocket trooper up to finish the job here. But my main goal here was to take out the. Take out the um, side holes there, and then um, take out the bug, and then get uh, take out the uh, plasma bug, and then get my guys killed. <laughs> so. Um, You'll note here that one strategy that I was using a lot of the time was to um, have the fleet liaison in front of my guys. It's just because it's a because it's one model, it's very easy to maneuver that unit. So you can use it as bait, basically. You can make bugs chase it around while your troopers actually hose them down. And uh, it's it's very very maneuverable, 
easy to use unit. So you keep it in front of your troops and just run it around and have the bugs chase it. Okay, this is where I started to. So I'm using the shotguns here, which I knew would deliver. Would, it would attract a huge swarm. So this is the bit where I was expecting to uh, be wiped out. Um, but I managed to actually hold it, despite me. You can see here. Look, I'm not using any abilities. I'm not really moving my guys. I'm just letting them get killed. But I realized that they weren't, it wasn't going to look convincing. <laughs> it wasn't going to be very convincing if I just sat here and waited for them to eat me. So I decided, once I'd cleared here, I'd, I'd survived despite not not microing heavily. Because maybe I'd, I'd just played a little bit too, too well up until this point. So I rushed these guys right up to the nest. Which I knew would kill them because this base up here still has bugs in it so you can't you can't clear the hive unless all of the holes have been emptied out so this was very close actually but if I'd have gone right now with the rocket trooper I would have cleared it but instead I sent the troopers knowing that they wouldn't make it in time and that they would get slaughtered because uh, one little quirk of the game at the moment is you don't clear the hive until all the troops have gone in. So if you choose a small squad like a rocket team or a Mark II team, you can actually clear the hives, or engineers even better. You can actually clean clean the holes out much faster. So I had a 30 minute timer to... Uh, <laughs> 30 minutes to capture all these bases. I'm, I'm uh, 12 minutes in at this point, so now it's time to push hard and clean out, clean out the enemy. You can see here the difference immediately. I've deployed way more troops this time. Way, way more troops this time than last time. Now, interestingly, there is going to be a there's going to be an attack on my main base here, and once again, I didn't have any sound, so I couldn't hear any alerts. Um, the tanker bugs sort of appear at your main base every sort of eight or so minutes on this mission, and you really need to be paying attention when a tanker turns up at your base because they are they are very dangerous. Unless your unless your base is protected by like three sets of rocket troopers, if you don't micro, you'll definitely lose units to uh, to the tanker bug. You know, once again, these engineers here they could have been building turrets, but I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I was instructed to not do turret pushing. So, uh, but if you're playing this mission for real. You can make your life a lot easier by uh, by turret pushing here. If you're playing this on the hardest difficulty, I think turret pushing is probably mandatory because the uh, bugs will have twice as much HP, which makes things a lot harder. Like a lot harder. Okay, this tanker bug is on my base right now. I can see it on the mini map. I think I might be coming a little bit later, but. Um, this game is really, really, really about micro. Oh yes, it's very much a micro game, not a micro game. Yeah. Just uh, uh, there is an, as you've said, there's a, there's an economy pushing game, to clean this uh, up. But it's, a, it's a starship troopers economy. Um, it's not um, your usual. Um, ha there's no harvesters. There's no drones. Well, there are drones. Right They're on the other side. Um, <laughs> there's very much. A Just trying to show off the tax strike as much as possible. It's uh, very powerful, but somewhat difficult to use. Move. <laughs> He's barely moving, he's in full leet player mode. Leet player mode! I have the sensitivity up as high as it would go. I was playing on a Alienware laptop. So I was using a laptop keyboard as well, which is... Not ideal. <laughs> okay, but not not ideal. Um... Okay, so now the tanker bug is going to appear at my base. 
Um, but looks like the lowest, that hive's down, that hive's down, that hive's down. Clear it, go on, get those guys out. And now I realise that time is against me, because I'm actually slightly behind. So they're gonna go in there. You know, mentally thinking I'm 15 so minutes in, I should be really on top of the second base by now. On the, uh, or the third, what's technically the, the second base you capture, the, uh, the third base in the mission. I should have been here, finished, and on top of, uh, on top of, uh, Hive two, so now I'm in a now I'm in a rush. <laughs> so yeah, I thought about uh, that's me building the Marauder Depot, so I can make Marauders, which is on my checklist of things I need to show off. Well, I think you need some new toys soon. Yes, he will. So this base is pretty easy to take out from here. This hive, sorry, it's pretty easy to take from here. This is me realizing that I can't show the Marauder off at this point without dismissing troops and dismissing defenses. So, you know, obviously, I, I wouldn't have done this normally. I, I actually, at this point, I'm actually making myself vulnerable here because I'm removing the turrets to build the marauder which is kind of overkill for this army it's a great unit but it's you know it's kind of overkill to uh, have it pushing this hive because this hive here is not that big so you can see here we, we wanted to demonstrate that the Marauder can actually move and attack at the same time, unlike the troopers. So this this hive is actually nearly cleared by itself. Yeah, I really love it. A little bit of a mistake there for me, just walking through that fire before it had burnt out. Lost a few guys there, but really not a big deal in this game. So this is me zooming in to show off the Marauder shooting everywhere. So it wasn't just about playing a hard mission and winning a hard mission. It was also about just quietly making sure to show off everything as much as possible of the game. So you guys could, uh, you know, see as much as possible. Because <laughs> it is perfectly possible to win this mission just with your standard troopers, maybe a fleet liaison and Mark II troopers, and maybe a couple of rocket teams. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I think my main base is about to get hit round about now. Um, did, couldn't secure them when the bugs attacked earlier. Uh, so his job is to push forward. So I split my army into two pieces here because one piece I was going to throw away, and then the other piece was going to be for the for the push to the uh, second to last base. So this was the group that I was going to bring up to this main base, reinforce it, which is used almost instantly. That's how, that's how, that's how good he is. Oh, and the bugs appear to be taking his base back. Oh, that's unfortunate, Edmond. So this is the group that I was going to throw. So you can see here, these guys are on move command instead of attack move. If they were on attack move, then uh, this wouldn't have happened. But it's just a, a bit of fun. Now I realise that just simply walking them... <laughs> I realized that just simply walking them into the bugs and letting them die looked, you know, doesn't look like I uh, looked looked too deliberate. So I started running the uh, running the bazooka guy away as if I was trying to save my guys. Now here I was ready to sacrifice the engineers. At this point, I had no intent of building any turrets or any defenses or anything anymore. It was, uh, well, I did rescue my, uh, my main base because I hadn't built, I hadn't built all the units that I was, uh, you know, I'd wanted to build just yet, but 
In the next phase, I was looking to sort of lose all the bases and take the last two hives. <clears throat> but uh, I realized I did need to hold on to these bases for, for a bit longer. No, once again, no um, no sound. So I could not hear the... the uh, there's, there'll be a tanker bug coming soon. And it comes just as I order my guys to leave. <laughs> and... Uh, I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear it coming, so... I didn't realize it was there. <laughs> you can see the picture in picture here. Um, behind me there, there's a picture of me concentrating away. I think I can... Uh, that's too late to show that now. So he's unsupported, but he has said he has all the cannons. And he, ah, that's a, oh, he did well there. Ooh. So what you saw in the it's focus the firing down the royal bugs because they're really dangerous. Very big warrior bug is a royal god. If they if they get right up close to you, they uh, can do a hell of a lot of damage very quickly, even to marauders. So the idea here was to put together a large army and. Uh, Clean this hive, activate the wave breakers, show off the wave breakers, then get the last base. But uh, I hadn't quite had the opportunity to bring up more units. So I had a number of units just standing around. <laughs> it's funny, it's like, what is there to say while we're busy slaughtering? So this is the first of the wave breakers here, but we were never, there was never any intent to actually finish the mission because there is, uh, once you activate all the wave breakers, there's some story and we don't want to spoil the story, so that's why the, the, the wave breaker in the top east corner got left. you tend to have a lot of these hoppers are just a total pain in the ass they're just on you all the time this it, I mean it's it's great fun to play and it's very chaotic and difficult so we also wanted to show these bugs climbing the walls. Nice. Um, so the the hoppers start to really get on top of me here, so I have to actually rebuild my uh, rebuild my army or rebuild the uh, the troopers part of the army but marauders cannot hit hoppers but hoppers cannot hit marauders because marauders can't shoot up and hoppers don't have enough armor penetration to hurt marauders so you get a kind of weird stalemate between hoppers and marauders not really necessarily weird it's just you know uh, hoppers are actually quite small and they're only really useful against uh, against infantry so this is where I was going to bring my final army together to push through the the objective which I'm currently working on and the last objective to end the stream on time um, but you know just as I'm ordering these guys to leave the tanker bug appears and I'm like oh that tanker in your base might be a problem Told you. <laughs> uh, that's not ideal. No, I think now I just realized I need the I need the supply from this base to actually It's uh yeah, I just realized that you know I haven't got the uh I need to keep that base for just a little bit longer so I can get the uh the necessary supplies to put together my final army. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, 
Oh no! Yes! Oh, yes! yes. yes. Oh, 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 come on! Oh, it was also close. <laughs> oh, here come the engineers. That was a very violent effort. Oh, he is. He's, he's, oh, so yeah. I didn't really want these engineers anyway, so I wasn't. The, it wasn't the biggest deal that they got killed. Um, uh, possibly need a bit more oh, you can I mean, in theory, I could have just dismissed them. To be fair. This is a very desperate defense. Come on! Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. Okay, so I just left yeah, these. Come on, work. Right, come on. And as you said, because he secured that flank here with the wavebreakers, he's actually his advanced horse here were quite secure because he's got that um, uh, wavebreaker support. So that royal guard is still really very angry. Yeah, the royal guards are very, very dangerous. To be fair, I can't imagine what they're like on the hardest difficulty when they've got double HP. And take quite a bit of heat, I think. But you can see here I've lost most of my anti-air, so the hoppers are actually starting to win. He's having to move outside of the cover of that wavebreaker. Yes. Uh, plasma incoming. Marauders don't really care. Now, interestingly, um, what David said there is true. Marauders don't really care about plasma. Uh, for, for whatever reason, for whatever balance reason, it's like the uh, it's like the tax strike. It's a low armor attack. So what that means is that it. Uh, losing those bases earlier is really short. Would not really penetrate the Marauder's armor and does very little damage. Okay, so this is me putting together my final army. This is his next rank of push forward. Another wave. Yes, come on troopers. So he's basically, those Marauders are there, they're kind of fine. Um, but unsupported, there's a good chance they're in trouble. And so. <laughs> you can just imagine me in the booth doing all this in complete really silence. <laughs> I really like how they're, how they're just circling yeah, about them. So this is me, uh, that was me buying the mortar strike for the Marauder because that was another thing that we wanted to show, or it wanted to show that off and we're going to show that off at the next base. So I bought it, bought it ready to go. Now the fleet liaison can't shoot air. That's why she ran forward like that. She's only got a handgun, and the handgun is considered to have not enough, uh, not enough velocity to go after air units. So that so she carried on running forward like that because there was no uh, there was nothing for her to shoot at. He's doing a job um, but she only costs one supply, so she makes a great unit to lead your team with. Because if you lose her, it's not really the biggest deal, since she costs only one supply. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, nice boys. Good work, sir. Well done. So we've got four minutes on the clock, from what I can see. Yeah, four minutes left. So I'm I'm slightly behind schedule, slightly. So this is me rushing forward now to. Uh, Quickly grab supplies, capture the terminal, take the the uh, plasma bug down, take this hive down. Uh, not a hive, but just like a small bug bug nest. The pistol, the pistol saved her. Well done, well done, liaison girl. And here come the tax strike to really polish it off. There we go. She knows what she's doing. If you get caught in the plasma bug explosion, by the way, you your units get wiped out. So don't be anywhere near that thing when it explodes. So I'm on my way to the final base now. But I realise that the marauders, which I'm supposed to be showing off at the next base, are actually quite badly damaged. So I'm going to call down some engineers to repair them. He's got three minutes and two terminals to capture. Yes, although. Possibly, High Command will give us a bit more time. No. I, I'm are not you, are sure. You I'm they not <laughs> <laughs> so they're talking about the time limit, and of course, I can't, I can't really hear them. I can't hear them, so I'm running on my own internal clock, which I know that I've only got a few minutes left. So uh, <laughs> I'm pushing ahead of schedule. Though they did say. That, you know, as long as as long as I was constantly progressing, we might get a couple of extra minutes. Yeah, bit of friendly fire there. But they gained some experience from it, so you know, they don't want that. Also, once again, wanted to show bugs climbing the walls. Kind of wanted to make sure that we showed everything, every everything that was on the list for me to show, 
I showed it at least twice. So a grenade down there, that'll, 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 not only does it hurt the bug, it slows them down as well. By the way, uh... I realised that my troopers were not going to be able to get around to the terminal and time was running out, so I sent the, uh, once again, the fleet liaisons very good for just running around and doing stuff. It's a democratic federation thing. They build a very efficient outpost wall, which just happens to be the perfect size and shape for bugs to So this is it now. I was getting very confident at this point. This is where I summoned my uh, engineer to repair. You can see there I'm setting the rally point behind it to repair these uh, marauders in case I need to repair them. I'm getting ready to show the uh, the mortar, the mortar rain, the mortar attack. Yeah, There we go. So that's the mortar rain. So that was it then. That was the checklist done. That was everything that was supposed to be done, done. Apart from to capture the last base. He's a, I think he may have lost his actual main base, two bases. So he's lost four bases. Um, yeah, and this is the moment where I'm supposed to be losing all the bases. So you can see I've lost... There we go. This is me showing showing that all the bases are lost. But this is, this is me just doing this on autopilot. You know, once again, I could not hear them. <laughs> I could not hear them. I could not hear the game. I couldn't hear anything. So... Uh, it was just through through practice and drill that I knew that at this point I was supposed to have lost my bases. And then I was just showing the fact that I had lost my bases and that's why I couldn't summon any more units. Now I could sort of hear them when they were going, come on, come on, come on, because uh, as they were shouting, I could hear the shouting. But I couldn't hear the, the normal volume talking. Yes. So I was just pushing really super hard here. But uh, this this was pretty. This is because this particular hive is quite small. It's only two. It's only one main main hive and one hole. So it's relatively relatively easy one to push down. And two marauders can pretty much handle it as long as you focus their fire on the uh, royal nice. bugs when they come out he's only gone and done it yes and that was it we just wanted to show the guys going down into the tunnel because it looks quite cool disappearing nice. into the fog as they as they go down into the uh, tunnel show the flashes and special effects yeah we go nice and that was it. And then I was just like, oh, just send all my units back to base because I've I've done it. I've gotten through the program. <laughs> it was super hard. It was super hard. Having a whole checklist of things to do in a game that's actually not very easy. Um, whole checklist of things to do in a game that's not very easy. Playing on a laptop that, you, uh, that I'd never played on before. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was it. It was, uh, it was, it was an awesome experience, but that was probably one of the more difficult things that I've done in my time. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little insight and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next thing that I'm doing. I'm sure.